Hello friends, this video limits and derivatives part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 14. Let's take one example. Here we have to find the derivative of fx, where fx is equal to 3x, x is equal to 2. So when we say f dash of 2, we can use the formula. This is nothing but f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 by h limit h tends to 0. This is f dash of 2. f dash of 2 is nothing but derivative of fx at x equal to 2 and that value is f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 by h. Now we will put the value. We will put h is equal to 0. So this becomes f of 2 plus h is nothing but 3 into 2 plus h because f of x equal to 3x, x equal to 2 plus h will put this becomes 3 into 2 plus h minus f of 2 is 3 into 2 because x is equal to 2 it becomes 3 into 2 by h, h tends to 0. Yeah. This is nothing but 6 plus 3h minus 6 by h and here also limit h tends to 0. 6, 6 cancel and this becomes nothing but 3h by h limit h tends to 0. H, h is also cancel. So this becomes limit of h tends to 0 of 3 and that is nothing but 3. 3 is the answer. Very simple what we have done. We are supposed to find derivative of this function fx at x equal to 2. That is we were supposed to find f dash of 2 f dash of 2 is nothing but limit of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 by h this formula we had and we have just solved this to get these values here. We will take one more example. We have to find the derivative of this function 2x square plus 3x minus 5 at x is going to be minus 1. That is we have to find f dash of minus 1. f dash of minus 1 is nothing but f of minus 1 plus h minus f of minus 1 by let's say by h limit h tends to 0. Correct. Now let me put the values. f of minus 1 plus h is equal to nothing but we will replace x by minus 1 plus h. So this will become 2x square that is 2 into minus 1 plus h square plus 3 into minus 1 plus h minus 5 this is f of minus 1 plus h minus f of minus 1 that is 2 into minus 1 square plus 3 into minus 1 minus 5 correct by h the whole thing by h here also we will say limit h tends to 0 this is the value correct here if you see 5 and 5 will get cancelled, minus 5 minus 5. To solve this, what we will get here? So this becomes 2 into 1 plus h square minus 2h. Correct? And this becomes, I will take 2 common here, minus 1 plus 3 into minus 1 plus h minus 1 minus and minus is plus 1 here and this cancel so minus 1 plus 1 cancel and minus 1 plus 1 cancel so what we get here is here this also is limit h tend to 0 the whole thing divided by h so what we get here is 2h square minus 4h right by or plus 3h by h limit h tends to 0 correct or the same thing we can write is limit h tends to 0 2h square by h is nothing but 2h and minus 4h plus 3h because minus h and minus h by h is 1 correct because I write the same thing here is nothing but 2h square by h minus h by h. 
this comes out to be limit of 2h minus 1 where h tends to 0 and if you put the value of h equal to 0 this becomes 2 into 0 minus 1 so that becomes minus 1 so this is the value of this function at x is equal to minus 1 so f dash of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 that is the answer so what we have done here we have found the value of f dash minus 1 that is limit of f of minus 1 plus h minus f of 1 by h we solve this to get the value to be minus 1 here we have to find derivative of sin x at x equal to 0 so here also we will write f dash 0 because x equal to 0 we will find this is nothing but f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 the whole thing divide by h and we say h tends to 0 correct so this comes out to be sin of 0 plus h minus sin 0 by h where h tends to 0 this is the value now sin of 0 plus h is equal to sin of h so I'll write this as sin of h by h minus sin 0 is 0 minus 0 by h limit h is to 0 so limit of sin of h by h where h tends to 0 we have this formula sin x by x where x tends to 0 is nothing but 1 correct so here x is nothing but h so this value will be 1 so this becomes 1 minus 0 and that is equal to 1 so derivative of sin x at x equal to 0 is nothing but 1 what we have done here same thing we have used the same formula f dash of 0 is nothing but f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 by h where h tends to 0 we have solved this and we have got the here we have to find the derivative of this function fx is equal to 3 at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3 that means we have to find f dash 0 and f dash 3 correct so let's find f dash 0 first f dash 0 f dash 0 is nothing but f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 by h limit h tends to 0 or less so this becomes f of 0 plus h is nothing but 3 because value of any function is 3 and f of 0 is also 3 by h where limit h tends to 0 so this becomes nothing but 0 by h correct this is 0 Similarly, f dash of 3 is nothing but limit of h tends to 0 f of 3 plus h minus f of 3 by h correct so this becomes limit of h by 3 f of 3 plus h is 3 and f of 3 is also 3 I think any number is 3 actually. Why is h? This is nothing but the limit of h tends to 0 of 0 and that value is nothing but 0. So we have got the answer f dash of 3 and f dash of 0. Both are 0 in this case. Very simple what we have done. We have just applied the formula f dash of 0 is nothing but f of h minus f of 0 by. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.